all right you guys so this is a greenhouse and it ended up falling down <laughs> and it's my fault because i ended up putting way too many hanging baskets um after i watered them at the very top and obviously it collapsed um, i feel like an idiot but you know you live and learn so what i ended up doing and i'm so like kind of proud of myself that i thought about this like really really quickly is oh my god this brazil i don't know if it's i need to put it down um putting this wood thing to like keep the thing up now it is a little bit like higher than the other ones than it than it should be but it's keeping it steady um but yeah not much to say <laughs> it's still pretty functional it just feels a little bit different uh, i mean i mean i kind of like it but then i don't like it's 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 doable it's just the idea of like it can fall again or it's just like vulnerable so i don't know what i'm thinking on doing is obviously i can't build a greenhouse right now i'm also noticing some other flaws on the side of the the thing like it looks more like it's being pushed over there like this is a greenhouse and it's like tilting um so yeah like i'm i'm guessing this will still be working for like two months hopefully three months that it will get me through the winter and make enough money um to like save so i can build a new one out of scratch because i have built a new one with my um grandfather for my grandmother um a while back and it was pretty easy and a lot of fun and i'm actually really excited for that because i can like do it with my boyfriend and my brothers we can have some bonding time while at the same time building a new greenhouse but that is not on the schedule yet and i am not ready to do that right now um nor do i have the money <laughs> but yeah so what i might do is probably if i'm seeing like more issues or like it looks a little bit not so good i'm probably just gonna get like a uh those like five gallon like paint things that like you buy from the store like the plastic you know where you put the paint yeah that like a little gallon thing five gallon uh, container basically and then fill it up with cement and rocks so this wood will stay very, very steady and for the top i am not sure yet <sighs> but even then like it's doing it really really good just by standing like up you know up and down <laughs> without any containers with cement on it but yeah so it's not bad it's just i have a lot of hanging baskets like a lot and i love hanging my plants and they love it too uh, so now i need to like figure out a way to make them hang i was gonna put in the front porch you guys are probably going to be hearing the chicks they're over here just chilling and eating on those bugs but yeah so uh, like 80 percent of the hanging baskets i'm probably going to make it in i'm going to give them some moss poles so they can climb up which i also like you know like i said this before and a lot of people say it as well that when you like give one of your trying plants a moss pole or something to climb to their leaves get really really big and they just look a lot happier so that's what i'm going to do with like 80 percent of the plants that i have the other ones they're almost impossible to like give it a moss pole or to just you can do it but it's just like it's not really like something that it probably you know what it wants maybe for example a maranta I don't really see how it's beneficial or like ideal to give it a moss pole or a or this beautiful moss you know what i'm saying like it just is not gonna work out so <laughs> and another one as an example the string of bananas which is so gorgeous but i'm not gonna give this girl a moss pole so i need to figure something out i can maybe make my own like a diy of like like a wood on the top and then like wood on the side basically you can like where you, basically like when you like hang your clothing something like that for my hanging plants um that can support their weight obviously <laughs> but yeah so that's basically what's gonna happen i'm actually excited because like it's it has i have more things to do and it's like and plants which that's what i want to do i want to get distracted with all this plant stuff I'm not making any sense, but I really, really do enjoy being with my plants and just being outside. And yeah, I'm just trying to look at the positive. Oh, it's getting a little bit windy. Hi, my babies. 
That looks so cute. My beautiful babies. I'm gonna show you guys. It's so cute. She's so beautiful. They're all females and oh my god. Yes, babies, eat all those insects. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute. And there's a honeybee inside, which I'm pretty sure it's gonna find the way, like obviously it's open, so it will leave. But yeah. Alrighty guys, so there isn't much to say. This plant is just so beautiful. I love it. Look at those roots. I believe they're roots. So it seems like it's a really easy plant to propagate, if that's the case. And the mini monsteras that I am propagating to sell. Oh my god, this bee is getting mad. Sweetie, just go to the big window. Oh, and there's two. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna leave, because I hate bees. <laughs> um, oh, look at this new leaf. Oh my god. That is so cute. But yeah. Everything is looking amazing. I'm just so proud. Hey guys, so it is the next day and for right now, excuse my little baby chicks, they're so adorable. They're gonna be like making some noise. Um, it's still standing still, which is amazing. And it's been pretty windy these past days. I mean, these past nights. So that just shows that it can handle um, through some very tough conditions of the wind. That makes any sense. Now, the reason why I'm recording a little bit is because I want to give you guys a quick update. This is like the most cheapest uh, ratchet thing to do, but as y'all are noticing it's bending and it's because of the water it is literally cardboard or compressed wood i believe i'm not that sure what you call it but yeah and as you guys can see they're gonna fall so uh, i need to figure something out um or maybe like find a different wood but even if it is wood it's gonna bend just like this one now you can see a little bit that it's bending very very slight but over here you will notice that it's like that so i could put like more bricks in the bottom which is possibly what i might need to do because it's going to collapse and i do not want that to happen um and i went online to see how much these tables cost they're a little bit expensive they're like 60 dollars each so um yeah now we're gonna continue pulling through on what i have and maybe when i sell more plants and make a little bit more money i'll invest on buying more um tables you know so i can like so this won't be an issue anymore now going back to these plants these hanging plants that i cannot hang at the very top i only have my carnivorous plants at the top because they're my babies and they don't weigh too much so so like they're okay but i'm i need to uh, i need to buy some moss and some like wire i think that's how you do it to make some moss poles i saw some videos online and i'll obviously like show you guys when i do them and give the people credit who i got inspired by to make those moss poles and i know some of these plants are really gonna enjoy it but like i said and i said this like on another clip it's going to be a little bit difficult to put that on like some plants for example this one you cannot place a moss pole on this because <laughs> that's just not how it works so i'm probably gonna need to like figure something out maybe make like a a little metal thing that goes like that to put a few plants like that one but other plants like this philodendron this neon potos um sebo blues swiss cheese i think the hoyas as well 
and Severely Potos, they're gonna have their own moss pole. But these type of ferns and strawberry begonia, string of bananas, string of dolphins, they're gonna need to find their own way because they're not gonna, you know, put through on a moss pole and I don't think they're gonna like it. So yeah, that is just a quick little update. But look at this poly elephant here. As you guys saw, it was having a lot of it had spider mites like crazy. And I placed it outside and I got rid of them with the hose. And it was so effective. I haven't seen them anymore. And I ended up placing her outside and she ended up shooting this humongous leaf, which is so darn beautiful. And these small like separate plants and they just look so adorable. Like there's literally three. There's this one, this one, and this one. So it's just gonna be the most beautiful bushy plant. And I'm so excited. And on the other one that I have, because I have two elephant ears, alocasias, it's also doing so beautiful. And when I had it indoors, it lost all of its leaves and I was literally going to toss it out. I think I said this so many times already, but I was literally going to toss it out because I was like, this girl is just, she has no leaves. She's going to die. And then my mom told me, no, 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 just put it outside on the porch. And I did. And she ended up shooting this leaf. And then when I um, saw that, I was like, wow um <laughs> i'm a terrible person and i presented the greenhouse and now it has this beautiful leaf this leaf and hopefully has more leaves to come through but yeah that's just such that's just so like insane that i don't know i'm just so excited and this beautiful you have already told me what this plant is called but i am so dumb it's a conjo philodendron or it, i know it's a philodendron but i think it's a conjo not that sure and this beautiful rubber tree they're just so beautiful. I'm actually planning on putting one outside on the backyard because they're literally trees and I think they will do okay. I'm going to need to do more research of they can tolerate um, the conditions of San Antonio, Texas. But yeah, so much fun. Half of this table is literally cuttings and plants that I'm wanting to sell, but they need more time. Some of these philodendrons are starting to put out new leaves. Some don't look so good, but others are looking amazing. There's one that I saw that was pushing out a new leaf and I was like, oh my god. I don't think I see it right now. Oh, and others are just like plants like this is from the collection. This is my boyfriend's this beautiful begonia. And somewhere also for the yard, these beautiful philodendron, philodendron, these Pallia macrophyllas. I love these so much because they do so, so good outside and they look so beautiful. They get really, really bushy and I just, I'm obsessed with them. So I'm going to put some of them in the, in the front yard, in the backyard. And also this beautiful potato plant. Um, it's from the potato family, but I don't know if it's called a potato plant. But yeah, it's really, really beautiful. They end up vining and just looking so gorgeous. Some money trees, some string of, I think a string of hooks or string of bananas that I'm probably getting. They have another one, string of this lipstick plant, um, the variegated lipstick. I'm just like experimenting. I want to see if it works or if it doesn't. Like I'm pretty sure you can propagate it, but I want to see if it's an easy plant to propagate or if it needs a lot more attention, like specific soil, like more moss. Not that sure. Um, what else? What else? What else? They're so adorable. This is the most beautiful plant. This beautiful Fetonia that I needed in my collection because it is just so stunning. I love the pink variegation on it. And this one, when it when the little greenhouse, the top of it fell, it snapped this leaf, but it's a okay because she's putting out a new one and it's just doing okay. These beautiful begonias are just gorgeous. This one, I just love the way it like collects the water droplets. And it has like the most beautiful leaves, like a velvet effect. Honestly, it's just so stunning. Look at that, wow. And then my philodendron micans, just doing her damn thing. I probably get some filigree micans. Where is it? And how is it doing? Oh, here it is. Oh my god, I think it already rooted. It's already been like two weeks, I believe. And I don't see some leaves turning yellow, so I think it's doing okay. Oh my god! So excited. What else? What else? What else? What else? 
some of these plants are growing through a lot some are just bouncing back and others are just propagations like that it's a propagation and it does not look so good that plant has been having so many issues um yeah i might need to toss her out or maybe give her away i don't know if anybody wants it this is a calentia medallion calathea medallion putting out a new leaf she's been through so much she also had a bunch of spider mites a while back and now she's doing okay the damage hasn't got any worse this is a baby monstero deliciosa that i'm propagating and i think it's doing okay as well this maranta lemon lime maranta is just so stunning She's doing amazing. And so is the other one. Look at my babies. Oh, they're so adorable. Yes, my loves, eat all those insects. <laughs> they're just so cute. Alrighty. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, the sun came out. I just love taking footage. When the um the sunlight hits the the water droplets or just the leaves, it really looks so beautiful. What else? What else? What else? Alrighty guys, I'll see you tomorrow.